Hi right, guys, Darren Thuzis here, and I'm going to be doing my top 10 figures of 2017 that I acquired. So this can be figures that were released in 2017 or figures that weren't released in 2017. Anything basically that I picked up this year. And I'm going to do 7 honorable mentions and then 10 for the top 10. I think JCC224 did the same thing. Um, check out his video if you want to see that. Um, just so I can give credit because it's not my idea for doing that. Um, anyways, for first honorable mention, I have the Marvel Legends Bullseye here, which I believe is on my top 10 uh, released this year. And it's a really great figure that I, I had to include in this one too. I'm really happy I picked this one up. Not overly invested in the character, but just uses a great mold, fantastic articulation, lots of accessories and changeable parts. Just make this figure really expressive and really fun. Next figure is the Ares figure from the Thor Ragnarok wave. Uh, another really cool one I'm happy to pick up. Again, not a character I'm super invested into, but it's a really fun action figure. Articulation is pretty good. is updated in some areas. Uh, sculpt's great. Uh, the updated paint scheme or paint apps on this figure are really good. And I love all the accessories. comes with the knife, which you can put in his uh, sheath there. you got the big sword, the axe, and you can remove the helmet. And he's got some pretty cool paint apps on the face itself to make him look godly, I suppose. And this is a really awesome figure. Next up is a really recent figure that was released in 2017. I literally picked it up New Year's Eve, and it's the Eric Killmonger figure from the uh, Black Panther wave, which I really like. It's I don't I only have this one in the Black Panther from the wave, but it's probably my favorite figure from that wave. The sculpt and paint ass on this guy are fantastic. I like it more than the normal Black Panther figure, uh, and he comes with a bunch of accessories and interchangeable hands, which make him really fun to play around with and very cool to pose, so I like this figure a lot. The gold makes him look really cool as well. Next is the SH Figuarts Batman figure, which I really like a lot. I've been wanting a very, really good version of the Dark Knight Batman for a long time now. Um, but I just didn't make the list, just the main list, just because there are figures I picked up this year that I just liked more, I was more stoked about. And I just don't find myself picking this figure out and posing as much. I find that every once in a while I put them in my pose and I leave them displayed for a while and don't really touch them. And next we have the Jaina Solo figure, um, which is an absolutely fantastic figure. If you watched my review um, or seen my Top 10 2017 or my Top 10 Black Series, uh, you'll know I really like this figure a lot. But I didn't want to put it in my Top 10 Acquired because I'm just not overly... Um, I'm not really attached to the character again like many of the figures on the sort of runner-ups. Um, and it's a fantastic action figure in pretty much every aspect. It's, yeah, just the character itself. Um, there's, there's just better figures, better characters I like that I picked up this year. Next up I have the uh, Biker Scout, the Black Series um, bike, speeder bike with the Biker Scout figure. I picked this up at a comic book shop this summer and it's a fantastic set. Um, I really like it a lot. The Scout Trooper is a really good figure that probably should get a re release, to be honest. Um, and the bike is also really nice. It's my only, uh, sorry, it's not my only um, sort of deluxe set because I have the Snoke set too. Um, but it's my only vehicle in the Black Series that I have. And I really like this a lot. I like the clear stand. The speeder bike has some nice features and details. And the figure is just fantastic. And I absolutely like, love the set. And lastly, I have Revel Tech Megatron, which is a really cool figure. I, this is was the first Revel Tech I picked up, and the only other one I have is the Optimus back there. Um, it's a really nice figure. Um, it doesn't transform; it's just a action figure, so it allows for a lot more articulation and a lot more, you know, good-looking robot modes and sculpt, and it's fantastic. Um, a lot of great paint apps, a lot of great articulation. He has some interchangeable hands and an interchangeable head, which is really cool as well. I really do like this figure a lot. Um, it's pretty fun to pose around. Uh, pretty cool. That's it for the runner-ups, though, so let's get on to the actual top 10 list. So first up, at number 10, I actually have a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure, and it's the 3 and 3 quarter inch Star Wars um, Evolutions Pack, uh, Fett Legacy, Mandalore the Indomitable. Um, I've been trying to build up my Mandalorian collection a bit. And I'm always looking out for more Expanded Universe figures. And this is one I've been wanting and having on my, I've had on my list of wants for a while now. I was able to pick it up locally uh, for 20 bucks, which I think is a good deal. He's complete. He's not damaged or anything. He's got all his accessories. I love the look of this figure. He's got like the old, more ancient Mandalorian look, which is super cool. He's the leader of the Mandalorians of the time. And it's just a cool character and a really cool figure. I like this a lot. Happy to add that to the 3 and 3 collection. 
Uh, next up, we have the DC Collectibles um, Arkham Asylum Scarecrow figure, which I picked up this summer at a combo store for pretty much about retail price. Um, and Scarecrow is one of my favorite Batman villains, and this figure I wasn't expecting to like as much like as much as I do, but it's a fantastic figure. I've only photographed it a few times, but those few times I really liked the uh, photos that came out of it, um, and I absolutely love the uh, love this figure. I think. My, I can't remember, which is really bad, but uh, I think my profile picture right now is one of my photos of Scarecrow, and it's an absolutely fantastic figure. Articulation's a little lacking, though it's not absolutely terrible, but what really makes this figure great is the sculpt and paint apps. Like, the face sculpt is just fantastic. I love the design of the mask and how it came out. It looks fantastic. He's got the noose around his neck, which is pretty um, trademark for the character. He's got the big uh, needle gauntlet, which aside from like that one needle that's warped, they're all pretty straight. You got the wires of the fear toxin in there, which is super cool. He's got that little baggie of fear toxin that he threatens to throw in the water supply, which is super cool. He's got the little loincloth thingy, and like the pants look like stitched up, like straight jacket pants or something, which is super cool as well. This is an absolutely spooky looking figure um, that really takes a lot of really good pictures. Um, I really like this figure a lot. It just makes her a really awesome display piece. And number eight, we have a figure that was released this year, and that was also on my top ten of 2017 that was released. And it's Six Shot, Leader Class Six Shot. Um, this figure I just have loved all year. I was very happy I was able to find it in stores, um, which is awesome. And it's really great. I mean, it has some little issues, like one of my knees on mine is a little loose here, which is unfortunate. Besides that, it's just a fantastic figure, and if you've been watching my videos, you've heard me rattle about, on about this figure enough. So just take my word for it that it's awesome, and, I've, and I love it. I always find myself fooling around with him. He's just a super fun figure, and looks so good. Probably the best um, six-shot figure, at the very least look-wise. He looks pretty good. And next up at number seven, I believe, is the SH Figure Arts uh, Dark Knight Joker figure. Again, I've been really wanting a good joke, Heath Ledger Joker figure for a while. And the SH Figure Arts one hits the bill. Articulation is decent, although it's not as good as it, I guess, could be. Um, but the accessories are fantastic. The sculpt is great. He comes with multiple face sculpts that all look really good. And it's just the, just the look of the figure is absolutely fantastic. I love the little knife feature in there. And just a really, really great figure. And absolutely love, love it and super happy that I have this one. Next, we have Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I'm... Super happy to have a good, a really good Grand Admiral Thrawn figure in my collection. Eventually, I'd like to get that older Legacy collection or that comic pack Grand Admiral Thrawn. That'd be nice. But this figure is fantastic. Sculpt is pretty near perfect. Paint apps are really, really good. He comes with a blaster. And if you have the exclusive, you have all those extra accessories as well. Articulation is decent. Um, there is some arm articulation I wish he had that he doesn't, but it's not too bad. And just absolutely fantastic. I mean, to some people, it's probably a boring figure, but to me, I'm absolutely, I absolutely love the character. It's one of my favorite Star Wars characters, so I really like this figure a lot. Super happy he was released. This figure was released late last year, but I didn't get it till early this year. And it is Darth Revan. Absolutely fan stoked to have this figure. Um, I didn't think it was going to get made into a Black Series Six figure until it won the Fans Choice poll a couple of years back. And it's a fantastic figure. The sculpt is super good. The paint apps are really good. I think they nailed the mask sculpt. I'm really happy they went with the plastic hood. Um, the soft, the other soft goods are like the cape has like tears and holes in it, which look really good. And the soft goods for his lower robe is a different material, and again looks good with the rips and the holes at the bottom. Articulation is pretty good as well. Um, I really like that they gave him both his lightsabers, his purple one and his red one. I'm really happy they did that. Um, and yeah, it's just this overall super solid figure. Again, another one of my favorite characters, and just awesome figure overall. And next up, we have the Marvel Legends Thor Ragnarok Hela figure. Again, you're going to hear me prattle on about how I love this figure, but I absolutely love this figure. It's not on both my lists um, for no reason. It's here for a reason, because it's a fantastic figure, and because my lighting's shit, I can't get the best view. But the face sculpts, both of them, but especially the normal Kate Blanchett face sculpt, and paint apps on it is fantastic. The sculpt of the figure overall is fantastic. Um, accessories are great. Posing's decent. Um, my only real gripe with the figure is that my the hips on mine are really loose, which is just a QC issue more than anything. And this is probably one of the figures I've had the most fun posing and photographing all year. So it's an absolute winner in my book. 
And at number three, we have the Black Series Darth Vader, 40th anniversary Darth Vader. You probably thought, you might have thought, or yeah, you might have thought that this is actually going to be number one. It's not, because there's two figures that are absolutely fantastic that are way better than this. Um, but I, best six inch figure I have, best Darth Vader figure I have, or maybe not best six inch, but really one of my best six inch figures I have. 100% the best Darth Vader I have so far. Absolutely love the sculpt, love the articulation, accessories decent, sock goods great. I don't have much to complain about. Some of the joints are a little looser than I like, that's about it. So there are a few times I got some absolutely fantastic figures. And I got the this figure, the Coronation Masterpiece Star Scream for Christmas. And I'm, I absolutely love it. Um, it the MP11 Seeker mold has its issues, but for overall... I'm a big fan of the mold. I think it looks great. Um, I love how this Star Scream turns out. And the Coronation set just gives the figure so much more personality um, and character. That is just so awesome. Those accessories are great. The shoulder plate pads are implemented really well. The plastic cape looks really good. And I love how you can articulate it and fold it out to kind of get a more flowing pose, which is awesome, which is what I have going on here. The crown also looks fantastic. And the head sculpt and overall sculpt of the figure is great. Absolutely love this figure. Super stoked to have this one to add to the Masterpiece collection. This is definitely one I wanted to check off the list. And last but not least, the number one figure I picked up this year was the Play Arts Kai Rorschach figure. Got a really good price on this figure, and this is my first and probably will be my only Play Arts Kai figure, but my first Play Arts Kai figure, and it's an absolutely fantastic figure. Rorschach's one of my favorite comic book characters ever. Um, and the figure is fantastic. The articulation's probably not as good as it could be, but it's still really workable, so it's not a huge deal. Sculpt and paint is absolutely fantastic on this figure. I love that he comes with the second, this, this second, um, he comes with two lower coat pieces. You get one normal one, you get this one where you can actually take off the hands and plug his hands into ports into the pocket areas and make it look like he has his hands in his pockets. This is absolutely awesome look. I love you can do that with this figure. Um, I love that a lot. And he comes with all the accessories you'd really need him to come with as well, which is also super cool. It's a really well done figure. There's hard to, it's hard to find much fault with it. And I absolutely love it. My top figure that I picked up this year. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, some of these figures... Um, some of them are all, or not all of them. Some of them, like the Masterpiece Stars for Figure, I have reviews recorded. I've just been too lazy to upload them. I'll upload them at some point. I'm being slow doing that. Um, but yeah, let me know what your guys' favorite pickups were of last year, 2017. I've been interested to know. And again, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.